Hey everyone, welcome to Tech Altitude. So we are back after a delay of eight days. Well, this is me going through my final exams. So yeah, that's why all the vacuum of videos during this past eight days. So in this video, I'm going to show you a tech product that is so good and it's so futuristic. When the first time I saw it, it actually stuck on my mind and it keeps me wondering where the consumer tech industry will be in the future, in the near future. And the product I'm talking about is this this box well this box is from a brand called poppy well <laughs> so hilarious name but jokes apart it's called the hachi infinite m1 so to start with it's basically a projector now i know that a projector could not be a really interesting product but this one is really just good this box actually has an android operating system built into it and can display a projection on almost any plane surface now to start with, this box actually has a projection lamp at its face, obviously for the projection, a bunch of cameras which I'll talk about in later this video, a bunch of sensors from proximity, light sensors and various different kinds of sensors, a big speaker, a big battery and it's all combined in this one and a half kilogram of plastic box. Now you can basically keep this device on any plane surface and it will project now what it projects is an Android tablet. Now basically it's an Android tablet built into this big projector and to operate this Android tablet you just have to touch down the surface. It recognizes all of your finger touches from with the help of the camera and the proximity sensors. And just like any other Android device, you can swipe around the user interface, you can check onto your files, you can browse the internet, you can do a bunch of things just like any other Android device. It has multi-finger touch capabilities, that means it can recognize up to 10 fingers at a time, at the same time on this big projection well that allows you for an awesome gaming experience on this big projection of android the projection is of 1280 by 720 well it's not full hd but hey i'm not complaining this is a fairly new product and the future iterations will have a 1080p projection as well but for this a 720p also works for specification it has a snapdragon 670 processor which is pretty decent a RAM of 4GB which you can pump it up to 6GB, internal storage of 64 and a 128GB, it has Bluetooth 5.0, it has Wi-Fi, it is all equipped just like an Android tablet. You can place this device vertically just like I showed you earlier or you can place this device horizontally perpendicular to a wall and it will project a big screen onto your wall. It automatically detects the distance from the projection lamp and the surface it's projecting on and it can correct itself automatically in terms of picture sharpness and the picture quality. Now the use case of this device is just mind blowing. I've already shown you what you can do with this device. You can use it as an Android tablet and surf around the internet. You can do all those things, but there's really more to it. To start with, you can play fun games with your friend by directly touching onto the projection. It can detect multiple fingers. You can do video call and project the call directly onto a wall. You can also learn how to do workout and it will also detect how you're doing the workout and correct you if you are wrong somewhere. In the kitchen, it can show your recipes and it can also detect what ingredients you have and suggest you recipes accordingly. For children, you can have fun little spelling games and much more interactive things. You can connect your laptop and project a presentation over it. Or you can connect your smartphone wirelessly and mirror the smartphone display. You can watch YouTube videos and Netflix videos. This thing actually looks like it's from the future. The touch inputs looks really like they are responsive and fast. There's no lag, no missed touch or anything on this. The use case of this product is really infinite. Well, obviously this is a very first iteration of a product of this kind. I remember when Sony tried to make something like this in 2015 or in 2016, a device which could project an Android tablet onto a surface, but they failed. But this device is 
just way more better than the Sony's device in terms of the projection, in terms of the touch responsiveness and in terms of the use case as well. The Hachi Infinite M1 is priced at around $1000 which may seem really expensive but this is a really new product and eventually the price of this kind of product will come down to bare minimum. Well, this product is not available in India right now, but I think it will be available in the future soon. Speaking of future, and the future of this device looks really good. You can have this device in schools where it can replace all those big and expensive smart boards which teachers use to operate it with its big stylus. Well, a similar device of this kind can replace all those expensive smart boards and teacher will directly operate those with the help of their fingers or you can have a similar device in an office where you'll no longer need a projection room or a meeting room you can have board meetings from virtually anywhere or this kind of device in a manufacturing company where the workers could be trained easily with the help of this kind of device now that it can also understand all the ingredients in the kitchen it can also understand various components of an assembly and you can do many more such things with the help of this device i remember when i first saw iron man where tony stark used this holographic projection technology to develop his iron man suits with the help of jarvis well this is not the holographic technology in the hachi infinite m1 but it surely is a right step towards it see it this way in the future, if you sit on a table, that table itself is your computer without the need of a physical keyboard or the need of a physical mouse. You, can, you just have to carry a small little projecting device in your pocket and you can virtually take it anywhere and turn any table into your personal computer. Seems like science fiction. So yeah, that's all about the Hachi Infinite M1. What do you think? For what more purposes a device of this kind can be used? Do let me know in the comment section below. That's been it. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.